day two, so it's been 48 hours now. This was that first one we peeled off. We brought the membrane with it. Um, I'm just unconfident these are going to be the same, but it'll be nice to, to see. So this slipped out easy. You can see there's little dents where the tips of it were at, which is fine. I'm just going to throw them in throughout. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, it feels the same. Yep, peels a bunch of the fleece up with it. So these are these are adhering great using the the Schluter all set uh, with glass. You saw the back of these. So we'll we'll continue on. We'll do day three and day four anyway, but they're they're gonna end up just like this, right? Where they they peel the fleece up with it because they're they're stuck on there so well. And we'll use these tiles too. We need to make up a jig and test out those drill bits. So make sure that um, what we'll end up with is probably something we'll do out here in the garage. It will you know, position the tile in between a piece of wood that will clamp down. The wood will have a guide for the hole. Well, maybe it won't do it in the garage. We'll do it outside at the hose so it stays wet. Um, yeah. So here's the plan. This is a crude version. Well, probably the final version because I only have to cut a couple holes. But got a glass tile sandwich in there uh, just with the clamp. Not too tight. You know, we don't want to snap anything. Um, and then I'm just going to take my leaky this guy is not a leak is that, will that work i mean i don't think it needs a lot of water it probably just filling that hole with water is probably enough so you're just looking for whoa why can't oh my god nobody makes a, a hose spray it doesn't just leak and suck after the first time you use it oh well Yep, see wood on the other side. There's a plug of glass in there. Let's see. Yep, there's a hole in glass. So those, those work sufficiently. Because remember, the pipe's going to go through and then there's a piece of trim that goes on top of that. So we didn't get any crazy cracks or anything like that. So that'll work. So this I found... Uh, about this hole, and it's specific to Mansfield. Well, at least the uh, reading I did, they were talking about Mansfield toilets with that. And apparently when these go in the kiln and they're fired, if that hole doesn't exist, they catastrophically explode. <laughs> so they have since changed their manufacturing process and their newer toilets don't have that hole, but it is supposed to be uh, buttered over. It was just some silicone. So it looks like we got a bunch of drywall dust in there. So we'll have to vacuum out the, the toilet, clean it up, get a fresh uh a fresh seal over that well it's still lazy it's been two days and i haven't even picked my buckets up yet but we'll probably go get some more of those the the company i ordered more arctics from has a one to two week back order right now so there's two two options i can keep searching online for somebody else that one uh sells it that cheap and two could get it to me quickly but there's a, a small part of me that just says it's not worth it Right, it's a couple weeks. The shower's gonna be in for decades. So <laughs> I'll just wait for it. And then they'll like things like this next this upcoming weekends, 4th of July. So I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And the, for the last month and a half, I've only had Sundays off. So it might be nice to just, uh, you know, smoke up a brisket, have some fun around the house, spend some time with the kid, more importantly. Um, instead of just rushing in the shower all the time. And I think even with that Ardex, there's nothing left that's gonna take me six hours straight, like putting all the membrane up. And even then, that membrane I could have done over the course of multiple days if I had to. So yeah, we're just not gonna stress over it. But we do have another tile downstairs uh, to peel up for day three of the test that's not necessary, but we're doing anyway. Okay, day three, uh, <laughs> just, I don't think it's, it's not going to be any different. 
Um, one thing I'll do though, when I do it with the art, instead of leaving it down here in the garage where it's hotter all day long, I'll go ahead and leave it upstairs and we'll, we'll do the test up there. Yeah, it's the same thing. This one actually started to peel some of this neighborhood, it looked like. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave it in the bathroom. Uh, so it has the same conditions as where we're tiling. That way we, we're confident that everything's setting up correctly and won't fall on us. Well, day four, uh, <laughs> just really only doing it at this point because I said I would. Yeah, you know, what else do you do, right? Yes. Yep, same as the others. So there's day four, here's day three, day two, and day one after we did our, our test hole. So yeah, they all look really good. I expect the same results. Um, when we get more Ardex in, we'll, we'll do it again just for fun because uh, it's nice to, to see that kind of stuff, I think. But mm, yeah, that's that Ardex is on back order. So it's gonna be a couple weeks and even the last couple days of not rushing around trying to do things in the morning before work, it's, I feel more like a human being than a zombie. So uh, yeah, I'll stick with it. And then maybe this weekend, I really wanna do that shelf. So it would be door height, right? Just wood. And then make it come out, eh, if it comes out where those shelves are, which is all it needs to do, so about here, like, that's not going to be in the way, not that badly. And then I wonder, eh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have any kind of fold up part. But if I do either 2x10 or maybe even 2x12 for that span, right, and then a post right at the other side of the uh, freezer there, because I think that's about the center. It's closer to the center than this side of the freezer. But we'll double check because we can always bump it over a little tiny bit. But the goal would be to get everything that's on those shelves up high, right? And then totes. So some of the stuff I'm going to get more totes. And just make sure it has a bin and it's labeled. Put the things we need the least way on the left. Things we need more on the right. And then a lot of this stuff can push back into that little cubby hole. And we'll have more garage area. Might even be able to put the motorcycle in here. Which, well, I mean, it can live outside, that's fine, but yeah, we'll see.